Hi, I'm Christine. I'm a Chinese Kiwi. I was born in Balclutha and I grew up on a market garden in the Horofanua. I went to a school in Levin and I went to university at uh, Victoria in Wellington. I graduated with a law and commerce degree. I started my career in the tax team at Deloitte and then I had a um, wonderful corporate career in Oxford and London. In 2006, I moved back to Tauranga, saw the mount, fell in love, and I've lived here ever since with my husband, who is from Finland. I, um, the side hustle and my love of martial arts has meant that um, I now am a small business owner. We started the Martial Arts Academy 10 years ago in 2013, and now I teach martial arts and self-defense. Tell me what you would do in terms of infrastructure. Another big issue. Sure. If we take infrastructure or transport firstly and foremost, we need to take politics out of transport. And that means, what I mean by that is one party promises roads and then another party comes in and cancels the roads that have been promised. So ACT is saying we need to take a longer term approach to infrastructure such as 30 year partnerships. And this means um, a private-public partnership, and Tauranga residents are no strangers to user pays. So we've had two very successful tow road projects, the bridge, and everyone was happy paying one dollar for, for that, and the Papamoa East uh, link road, which has really opened up all of Papamoa East and the housing and the community out there. Uh, so in, in that respect, roading could be looked at in a different way, ACT also has the policy of sharing GST to councils so that they have more money to invest in infrastructure faster. So having lived overseas, for example in London, they have a car sharing scheme called Zip Cars, where you don't need to own the cars, but it's licensed out like the Lime scooters are, where you can just like uh, uh, join up and then uh, borrow a car to where you need to go. Also, um, Oxford, I used to live in Oxford, they're very successful at the park and ride scheme, so where you park on the outskirts and take a free shuttle into the city centre. And finally, Hong Kong. <laughs> so they have something called uh, light buses, Xiao Ba. And so instead of having these big buses with 35 to 45 people capacity uh, trundling through our roads, why don't we just have smaller buses? that seat maybe 11 or 16. I'm no expert on how the emissions formula exactly works, but if you've got a big bus trundling around with no, hardly any passengers on it, I can't think that's very good for the environment. So, so having a, maybe a smaller bus service or different modes of transport would certainly look to you know, help the emissions equation. And um, what are your thoughts on climate change? Do you believe in it? Climate change is a very, of course I do, yes. We're in the midst of wildfires, crazy weather patterns. It's a very complicated um, subject because there's really not one solution that's going to solve our um, emissions problem and global warming. New Zealand accounts for less than 1% of the world's emissions. And we all want to have a clean, green environment. And at, at university, you know, that's always a subject dear to our hearts. And at that time, when I was at university, the Resource Management Act was touted as something that was going to protect the environment. And that was one of the original objectives. But now, 30 years later, it just seems to be a handbrake on development and adaptability and people's personal use of their land. Isn't that the whole purpose of the Resource Management Act was to put a handbrake on development that was destroying the environment? If you didn't have that, the environment would get destroyed, wouldn't it? Yes, so in 1993, there was like a, a lot more looser regulations and that uh, act has been in 30 years and I think we've seen the, a lot of good benefits out of that act. But on the other side, it's been so costly for even local councils to do their own development and so time consuming that it's, it's really created issues for our really uh, trying to get our economy more productive. Youth crime is in the news a lot. 
uh, what's going on there? Well, youth crime, yes, well where do we start? Uh, well I think it's that the soft on crime approach is not working. Act says it's time for some tough love. In regard to the youth crime, Act will bring in some tougher consequences if you're out there committing repeat crimes. Now look, the statistics show that it is a smaller group of people that are just out there repeating, um, re-offending. And the, part of the reason is that when the police pick them up, they just get dropped off to Oranga Tamariki. So Act says they need to be dropped off to corrections where they can't just be, they can't just walk out uh, and then, you know, be back in the community. So you're talking about locking up 14 year olds? Well, there does need to be consequences. So it depends on the severity and how often they have been committing the crimes. You know, we do need to address some of the causes of, uh, of the crime, which is that social disengagement and social disharmony. Mm. What can you do for people struggling to find a home to rent or struggling to buy a house? All right, well, two parts to that. In the Rentals Act will stop the war on landlords. And what I mean by that is to bring back interest deductibility and so that was phased out and we just need to stop putting on extra red tapes, uh, extra bureaucracy on landlords such as all the requirements of the Healthy Homes Act. But what about all the tenants who were living in substandard accommodation? You think that's okay? No, they, there's certainly some standards. Look, by and large, Ma and Pa landlords, which are the bulk of the New Zealand private landlords, they, they want to provide a service and, uh, and you know quite often we've got hearing landlords where they've been forced to do all this calculations to meet the R3 values of heating and so on and having to put in heat pumps which is not really the, the solution sometimes because some of the tenants then can't afford to turn on the heat pumps. Well, they need the options, though, don't they? Well, there's some other um, available means to heat a home, such as panel heaters and other heaters. Well, they could install panel heaters rather than heat pumps. Yeah. It's the same difference, really, isn't it? Yeah, sure. So, so we agree that there does need to be a transition into uh, warmer and more livable homes, and then that stock is being, um, is being over time. Mm. Uh, but your Mar and Pa landlords. Sure, they might be responsible, but there's always going to be dodgy mm. landlords out there, and you know that's what that that law change was aimed at was bringing the dodgy ones up, wasn't it? And that's important, mm. don't you think? That is important, and it has had the impact of increasing rents. So sometimes these policies, again, as this is complicated uh, policies where you want to fix one thing, but in fact. In some cases, it's just made the situation worse for renters and that they've had to pay a lot more for their rentals. But rents are set by supply and demand. The landlords will just charge whatever they can. Sure. It's nothing to do with the actual uh, mm. costs that are involved in maintaining the house, is it? So there's legislation that's saying that you need to put a certain amount of money in your into your rental property and that's increasing, once again, increasing the cost of it being available to tenants and, and that's increasing the cost to tenants. Mm. How can we stop people committing crime in Tauranga? How do we stop people committing? Well, I think we need to bring back consequences. The government needs to side with the victims and not uh, with the criminals and what I mean by that is, for example, bringing back three strikes. The Ministry of Justice, in a report, said that there was no evidence that the three strikes policy led to the reduced offending. Well, the crime policy is really about keeping people safe on the streets, and at the moment, Weber's policy to reduce prison numbers is just not working.